Well, hello and welcome to volume 245. I'm Mark Graves, just a regular guy fighting prostate cancer. I'm so glad to have you along for the journey. It's Monday. Woof! It's Monday. And what a Monday it's been. Uh, had a great weekend. Saturday had all kinds of plans. We were going to do things around the house. The wind whipped up. I mean, it was bad. We had to put the easy up in the backyard down so it wouldn't blow away. Um, stuff in the driveway just blowing all over the place. Um, <laughs> you know what's amazing is this is backwards. So every time I go to put down that little piece of hair that sticks up over here, I miss it. So yeah, it's, oh my gosh, this side of my face. Okay. Wow. That's tough to do. It's looking in reverse mirror. But anyways, um, the weekend was not a loss. Uh, spent Saturday with my honey uh, all day long on the couch, catching up on TV shows that we've recorded. We finished... 1883. Okay. If you've, if you're a fan of Yellowstone, you'll understand what I'm talking about. If you're not, that's okay. Just let this flow right on by. I'll do it quickly. Uh, 1883 is the prequel to Yellowstone. Um, I am a huge Yellowstone fan. Uh, also found out yesterday that there will be another one coming. I believe it's called 1932. Uh, and um, 666, six, four sixes, sorry about that. Woo, it's a big difference between three and four, but it's a ranch uh, in Montana. I believe it's in Montana, Texas, maybe. Uh, but Sheridan, the guy who writes, produces, directs, and is responsible for all things Yellowstone and anything associated with it, bought the ranch. That's how serious this guy is about his movie making. So he's hoping to bring back the cowboy genre, and I am too. I got to tell you, I love cowboy movies. Uh, just absolutely love them. Uh, Wagon Train, I watched that when I was a kid. The Rifleman, oh, oh man. Um, what else did we used to watch? Gunsmoke. Um, oh, what was the one with uh, Lauren Green? Uh, Bonanza. But anyways, I, I love I love. I'm glad to see cowboy stuff. Love it. Absolutely love it. Love to ride horses. Haven't been on a horse in probably 20 years. Uh, I'll be riding soon. I'm, I'm not holding back anymore. Uh, if it's something I want to do, I'm going to go do it. Simple as that. That's just how it works. Uh, so anyways, um, okay, got up this morning. Uh, took care of my vitals like I usually do. Took my pills. Um, checked the mail. Uh, paid some bills. <laughs> so there are a lot of those when you're fighting cancer. There's all kinds of bills. And uh, you know what? Okay, quick, quick little rant. I apologize, quick little rant. It is the year 2022. If you have the ability to fix something that's wrong with a human being and get paid for it, then you have the ability to either set up your own website or hire somebody to allow a patient to pay their bill online. It's not that tough, guys. Come on. I have some of these where they don't even give you an envelope to mail it back in. You have to use your own envelope. They have no website address to be able to go pay it. If you try to call and pay it over the phone, you're on hold forever to be able to do it. So come on, guys. I got out of, and I, this is no exaggeration, minimum, I have 20 doctors that I deal with because of the hospital stays and that kind of thing. I have my, my corral of seven, I think probably, that are my you know, common doctors, doctors I see all the time. But because of all the hospital stays, uh, Kelly told me between August and February of this year, August of last year, February of this year, 10 hospital stays totaling about 50 days. So yeah, I've had a lot of you know hospitalists see me and all the guys that come and take your blood and that kind of stuff, they all get paid. So come on, folks, get a website, make it, make it easy on me, please. Okay, that rant's over. So anyways, Monday morning started off awesome. Uh, got up this morning, had plans to go out to the garage and start to rearrange some of the stuff. I have a pantry out there. Kelly would call it a, a mountain of food. A little, little bit of prepper stuff going on in my garage, but I fell behind because I got sick. So a lot of it is just sitting in bags on the floor of the garage and is not put on the shelves nice and neat like it should be. So 
intended to work on that today. The winds came up again. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to make me some chili and some cornbread, which is what I did. Made a big pot of chili. Uh, I'll pop a picture of it in here. The, actually, the cornbread is still in the, uh, in the oven right now. And I think I probably only got a couple of minutes left before that's done. So I'm going to get ready to wrap this up so I can take my uh, cornbread out. I also made honey butter. <laughs> so that's going to be good. Uh, hydration coming today. I'll get, I don't know which side they'll put it in, but I'll get an IV put in today. So anyways, I feel fantastic. Oh, and I just took a shower. I just got out of the shower. Um, so I, I feel wonderful. I really do. And I know Mondays suck for a lot of people, but I hope they don't suck for you today. And if they do, I'm, I'm, I'm wishing you a blessed day. I, I hope nobody has a day that sucks today. Um, thank you all for your support. Thank you for watching this channel. Um, and man, thank you for making me feel good. I know all the prayers come through, all the positive energy, everything you guys throw out in the universe, I'm sucking it all up. I really am. And trust me, I'm paying it back too. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you would, give me a thumbs up, uh, like the video, uh, comment. You got a question or anything, put it down there in the comment section below. It helps the algorithm and more people will be able to find us. But in the meantime, man, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for propping me up. Thank you for showing me love. Thank you for all the prayers, all the positive vibes, all the aloha, all the shaka. All the good juju, especially you good juju guys. You know who you are. I love it. All right. I'm going to go get my cornbread out of the oven. Literally, I think I got about a minute left. So you guys have a fantastic Monday. I love you all. And I'll talk to you soon.